Greetings metal community, it's Roger back with another collection update. Um, tapes, I got some single tapes and uh, two box sets to show you. Uh, one of the box sets I got in yesterday, so I kind of felt inspired um, and obligated to uh, film it before I looked through it. So it will be an unboxing of both of them. Uh, one I have seen before on another video, so I know what's in it, but um, the other one is new to me. Uh, in the background we have obsidian hooves uh, with illuminating void. Uh, came out last year uh, through uh, Morbid Chapel and uh, Rotten Tomb. Um, yeah, great US uh, death metal, kind of in the vein of a lot of the, uh, you know, the, the new wave of old school death metal. Uh, pretty heavy, slightly brutal, uh, juicy voice, uh, but uh, pretty variated in tempo, and I really like this. This was. Uh, I mean, the previous album that came out in 21 was pretty good as well, but um, this is a step up. And um, yeah, go and check out uh, Obsidian Hooves if you haven't. So yeah, tapes. The first one, uh, first two one is from uh, Brazil. Uh, this is uh, Convulsive with uh, the grotesquery Ruins of Death out on Severot records i've seen this shown in a video before might have been um yeah it wouldn't surprise me if anthony has showed this one um this is uh, actually a very good uh, musically a very good um death metal the problem here is uh, kind of the guitar tone is very murky and a little bit low in the production and the vocals are even though they are very good are uh, yeah, way too loud compared to uh, especially the guitars, uh, so it's very unbalanced and it's a shame because there's a lot of killer riffs on this one. Uh, but uh, yeah, go and check them out if you want some uh, good, uh, slightly brutal death metal from uh, Brazil. This is, uh, as I said, musically killer stuff, but uh, the production, um, yeah, drop the casing. Uh, musical, it's it's just uh, yeah a lot of cool cool riffs on this um, release. So uh, go and check it out. Second one is from uh, Seventeen. Had this on my kind of pickup at some point list. Uh, Sepulchral um, Horror uh, with everlasting morbid delights. Uh, yeah, this is, as I said, uh, also from Brazil. This is more kind of a, a occult um, death metal in a way. Uh, the vocals is not very deep. It's more, um, I would put it a little bit more towards Celtic Frost. It's more like uh, a little bit more spoken and uh, not very deep. Uh, it's not the same as, as Celtic Frost, but uh, in that vein, uh, also, the music is not, um, I mean, the guitar tone is not very heavy, but it, it's still death metal and uh, a lot of cool, cool uh, songs on this. Uh, kind of more like mid paced stuff. So, uh, yeah, another good one. Actually, all these tapes are good. So, um, and of course, uh, I had to pick up this uh, Wild Operation and uh, Miss Creon's uh, split. You know, uh, Miscreants uh, delivered one of the most interesting albums uh, last year, uh, or kind of fun albums for me, because it was very recognizable music, but uh, done in a very good way. So, uh, Wild Operation is more brutal, uh, you know, cavernous uh, death metal. Uh, they kind of don't fit well together, but uh, it's two great bands, and uh, if you like them, you know, just buy it. It's not a lot of music here, it's just um, five songs and about 15 minutes or something, so um, yeah. Then I was into um, uh, yeah, extremely lot of productions and uh, bought some tapes and some vinyls that I will show in an, another uh, video. I picked up uh, two uh, releases by uh, For The Pyres. Uh, this is a uh, compilation. This is Noxious Ruin uh, releases and they have these uh, kind of uh, slightly annoying but very cool um, fold-outs. 
to the tape here. Really cool. Um, I mean, it's cool packaging, but uh, they are kind of uh, difficult. So yeah, this is uh, the demo and the EP, um, or it's two demos in there. I don't remember, but uh, uh, for the players, uh, play. Um, it's HM2 uh, Swedish. Uh, I mean, they're from Sweden, so. Uh, but it's HM2, but it's more of the heavy HM2 uh, sound. Uh, very cool. Uh, he has a nice raspy voice, uh, pretty powerful uh, raspy death vocals as well. Uh, if I should put them, yeah, compare them to a band, maybe Demonical. Uh, now, yeah, Demonic, Demonical, maybe somewhere in that vicinity, you know, uh, kind of just heavy, fast. Uh, slightly evil uh, death metal, and we have the uh, Artless from 2021, I think. Uh, yeah, the same stuff. Uh, do have a small uh, patch inside, but yeah, I think Demonical is kind of a, a good. Um, Point uh, or direction for where this music lies. So, uh, but a uh, killer stuff. Uh, so, uh, if you haven't heard uh, for the pyres, go and check them out if you like uh, the heavy HM2 uh, sound, uh, because this is uh, quality uh, quality death metal. Then I picked up two releases from um, Bok, uh, which is it's probably not pronounced that way. It's Spanish, um, and I don't. Speak Spanish. Uh, another uh, one of these um, foldouts. This is the two EPs from uh, 20 and 21. Another foldout. With a lot of cool artwork. I also have this. Uh, Kind of booklet style inside. Yeah, Bach is uh, just uh, kind of straightforward riffy death metal, kind of in the vein to uh, Molder, um, that type of death metal. Pretty, pretty good stuff. Uh, really enjoyed uh, both of these releases. Um, this is their full length. Uh, was this from last year? I think. 2022 uh, called Dolcha Mort Enels Lins Del Rec Comtal. Maybe if you can read it yourself. I have no idea. Red Shell. Out on uh, Medusa's uh, layer recordings. Never heard of them, those guys before. But yeah, two uh, good uh, releases, as I said. In the vein of Mulder, I would kind of, I don't think I miss much if I compare them to that. So, uh, box sets, of course, tapes. Uh, picked up the sentenced uh, box set. I uh, wasn't planning on picking this up, but uh, uh, Swat uh, Records over, at, uh, over in uh, Finland had a sale and uh, Lower the price on this as well, so uh, you have this uh, standard booklets with a lot of old, um, yeah, kind of uh, with interviews and uh, this flyer stuff and, uh, and lyrics. So uh, very cool. As I said, I've seen this uh, shown before in a video, so um, posted with the guys. Oh, also murky one, but nevertheless, it actually seems much clearer on the on the screen than than it does in the, in the real life. But uh, yeah, that's cool. Uh, guitar pick, sentence death metal from Finland. Uh, three patches.
which is very cool. And then all the uh, normal postcards. I do have a lot of box sets, so I, I kind of know what to expect. All these cards have sentenced on the back, so uh, yeah, really cool. Flip out the tapes so I can show it to you. Amok from uh, yeah, when was this released originally? '96 or something? '94 maybe? Don't remember. But uh, these tapes are very well done. I mean, uh, Floga Records uh, has made this box set, which is uh, pretty cool. But yeah, great album. I didn't like this when it came out because it was so different from the two first albums. But uh, this was uh, uh, absolutely a grower for me. Then uh, probably my favorite, North From Here. This album was very unique when it came out in, in the sound and everything. And a uh, lot of very cool riffs. And as I said, uh, these uh, are done very well. Nice black shells. And uh, you know, the legendary, um, uh, yeah, legendary album that I never uh, remember the title on. Shadow of the Past, of course. Sometimes the brain is absent, but uh, yeah, again, very cool. And the reason why I, I didn't buy this is kind of, I, had, I do have all the stuff, but uh, the same goes with the rest next box. I just love tape sets and sentence. The, um, the old sentence is killer. And then we have on, uh, you know, white tapes for the, these demos. Uh, Journey to uh, Phobia. Uh, yeah, and these dem demos are very good. Uh, sounding, uh, I do have the vinyl compilation with it. Fold them out so you can, yeah, kind of more basic. But yeah, they're, they're great demos, they sound very good as well. So uh, it's very cool to have, uh, always cool to have the demos on tapes. Uh, I feel that kind of fits very well. So Again, just basic uh, demo stuff like it was back in the days. Yeah, so that was the uh, box set of Sentence. And, um, I think they had reduced this with uh, almost 15 euros or something. It was uh, very low priced compared to the uh, original price. So I'm um, very happy to pick this up and then the uh, set that I uh, got yesterday I kind of forgot or I didn't forget that I ordered it but uh, I didn't remember the release dates it should have been released the last year but uh, yeah the dawn tape set complete discography ultimate edition out on uh, cosmic key productions and yeah, I know the backside that tells it, but I, I knew what was in here, of course, uh, when I ordered it, but I haven't seen it. And this is a book. And hopefully there is a lot of old pictures and, uh, you know, uh, flyers and the, some uh, interview, maybe. Yeah, this look, looks exactly what I want it to be. Yeah, interviews and a lot of old pictures. Very cool, um, pretty pretty thick. As you can see, this is um, quite a, quite a nice treat to have. I love it when the box sets have this. And then we have a lot of postcards. Just uh, you know, you have to have a white pen to use them. But uh, I'm not gonna use them. This is gonna stay in the 
box set, you know, the covered. Very cool, and also stickers. That's also cool. You know, Slaughter Song and Sorg på Svarte Vingarflug. And uh, Nær Solen Går Nær for Evigor. Then the tapes, six tapes. Cool. We can start with the lights one. Uh, if I can get it out. Yeah, slaughter song. I haven't opened this, so I have to remove the plastic. I'm not going to remove the plastic on all, but we can look, have a look how they look inside. So, um, yeah, slaughter song uh, was kind of a uh, more, um, in a way, brutal black metal album. Pretty technical as well compared to the two first releases. But yeah, this uh, looks very good and has uh, this golden shell. So yeah, they, it looks like they've done a, a proper job on the on the tapes as well. So uh, yeah, I'm not gonna wrap these. Um, and, uh, this is the uh, EP Sorg på Svarte Vingarflug. As far as I remember, it's two-sided. Uh, so you have the, the whole EP on both sides, so that's cool. And then you have Nær Solen Gore Nither for Edigor. Have a red shell on that one. And we have the uh, demos, and for those who don't know Dawn's demos, they are. Um, uh, they were black. No, death metal. Uh, back in the demo days, like a lot of Norwegian and Swedish uh, black metal, they started out uh, on, on the demo stage as uh, as death metal. This is very simplistic uh, booklet, but uh, I'm sure it was um, like that back in the days as well. And uh, and these are very good, uh, kind of uh, slightly melodic uh, death metal. Uh, the vocals are death, and he has a great uh, juicy death vocal as well. And I forgot to say about these two albums, they are kind of more um, uh, melodic, um, black metal, uh, a lot of melodies going on. Not melodic, but there's a lot of melody lines going on and uh, very, very good. I mean, uh, all the three albums, or the two albums on the EP are fantastic. And uh, my favorite, this is my favorite uh, black metal band from Sweden. And you know, uh, really cool to have this box set. Could have maybe wanted some poster flag, but uh, but yeah, I'm uh, I'm happy with this uh, regardless. I do have these demos on a com compilation CD, so um, if you don't want them on tape, uh, you can buy a, a CD with all the uh, demos on. So yeah, that was the um, set with uh, uh, Dawn. So yeah, really cool. As I said, might, uh, you know, maybe our flag had been... Uh, just to top it off, but um, I'm very happy with it, and it, uh, you know, it looks very nice. So, uh, especially this front was exceptionally cool, you know, uh, bust. So yeah, that was the tape for uh, for this time. Uh, thanks as always for watching and uh, subscribing, and uh, of course commenting. It's um, fun to uh, chat with you in the comments. So um, leave me a note what you think of this video. And uh, I will see you very soon. I do have a lot of stuff to show you, but uh, as I said, not been a, in a good recording mood lately. So, um, but there will be at least three vinyl updates and uh, a big CD update. I think we'll wait, wait and see. So, um, be short.